Brazilian politics is in the doldrums. 40% of the Congress are under investigation for corruption, the president's ratings are in single digits, and his reforms are stuck. But next year brings elections and the promise of change. For many in Brazil's poor northeast, that means hope for the return of former president Luiz Inácio Lula, providing he can beat corruption charges. His leftist government was known for helping the working class. For us, with lower income, the best president was Lula. He did more for us. He offered us social programs like Bolsa Familia, improvement in the region, schools for the children. In more affluent Sao Paulo, many echo the view of Marcia and Rodrigo. They see both Lula and his closest challenger, Jair Bolsonaro, a right-winger who's pro-gun and anti-gay, as dangerous populists. The biggest concern is the polarization these days. I work in the financial market and all that really affects shares and commodities prices. And we're worried because so far there is no other candidate that could challenge those two. That worry has reached Professor Creamar de Souza as he walks the corridors of power in the Brazilian Congress. He sees a stagnant political scene. So we really feel uh, personally offended about all this corruption and about the fact that all these, conf all these speeches about, okay, a new kind of society, a new kind of Brazil, a new kind of perspective, people feel that, okay, they are lying. This is only the third decade of democracy in Brazil after a military dictatorship. And people say that in the early years, election night was like a huge party. But corruption and mismanagement have really ground that down. And now for many here, the country's political dinosaurs have taken over that party for themselves. Eduardo Mufarej is trying to get fresh talent involved. He's set up a program in which public policy experts will train wannabe congressmen from all walks of life. It's paid for by entrepreneurs and crowdfunding. The only rule, no career politicians. As the political system is very entrenched. So our plan is through this program is to help to challenge the status quo and break this vicious cycle of declining in Brazilian politics. That will be tough. The candidates will still have to run with established parties. In Brazil, independents aren't allowed. But if a discredited political class is to change, next year could at least be the start. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Brazil.